finally, it's actually happening now that we've been talking about for over a half a year now, since the end of August, beginning of September, that the very good food company is going to open up a larger facility that's going to help them fly to the moon. We're obviously talking about the Rupert facility in Vancouver that is opening up now as we speak. There's going to be the potential of butchering billions of billions of beans. Well, that's the kind of butchering I would prefer any day of the week. So what I'm wondering now, what kind of revenue potential are we looking at here now with this new facility? Well, that's what we're going to talk about here tonight. So stay tuned. Now, as always, I would really appreciate an early thumbs up since it will really help spread the message. And if you want to be part of a channel that focuses on plant stocks, companies like the Very Good Butchers, Beyond Meat, Eats, and Else Nutrition, make sure to subscribe and don't forget that bell button. Now, if we just take a look at the stock chart before going into the news, we can see in the last couple of five days or so, the stock has actually started to grow up once again. And specifically yesterday when this news came out that we're going to talk more about. Unfortunately, now it's gone down about 2.5%, but that's just temporarily, of course. So if we take a look at the news here, the very good food company butchers first bean at Rupert facility. Uh, and we can see that they have already started moving into this facility a couple of months ago, but it took time to renovate and actually upgrade it to the standard that they need and actually also make sure that it's COVID secure. And what we also find out here is that the first production line is officially operational. The company is conducting trial runs. The first production line will initially produce seven of various existing products already in the market. The company is on track with the build-out of Rupert and plans to commission the second production line in late Q3 2021 with food production shortly thereafter. And as I'm sure a lot of you know that this facility can actually produce up to 37 million pounds of annualized product from the two production lines to be phased in over the years, which is almost 2,700% increase in production capability. And this is what Mitchell Scott, the CEO of Very had to say, quote, bringing the Rupert facility online as scheduled is a major milestone for our business. Once we're fully operational, we will be able to quickly and sustainably scale our food production in order to meet consumer demand. Since launching our line of plant-based meat alternatives, we have seen tremendous interest from wholesale retailers and online consumers with orders increasing at record pace. That's the kind of thing we want to hear, right? The Rupert facility offers one of our strongest opportunities to optimize and increase production to reach a new level of revenue growth and market share for our company. This production capability will prove vital as we look to expand our operational footprints in Canada and the US. And we want to talk about more what kind of revenues we can look at from this facility. So just stay tuned. We're also getting some more information regarding the current president, Anna Silva, that she's also going to be part of its board of directors. So I don't know about you guys. What do you feel about this news? Let me know down in the comments. For me, we've been waiting for this for a long time, haven't we? Since the end of August, since the beginning of September, talked about this huge expansion, moving into a larger facility, and it's actually happening. And that's what I've talked about so many times, the huge respect I have for this CEO and the management team. When they talk about something, it's actually happening. So what can we expect from this facility? Well, I want to make a small comparison or a large one with Beyond Meat, which is the industry leader, right? What kind of sales did they look at last year? Well, they looked at about $400 million. That's what they had year over year. And very, what we know, we don't know 100% yet. I think we're going to get those numbers in the end of this month. We're probably looking at numbers between 10 to $15 million. And that's a huge difference, of course, but it's not so strange. Again, they're the industry leader. They're globally recognized. It's the most famous brand out there when it comes to plant-based products. Not so strange. They're at about 130,000 different restaurants and stores out there. So not so strange. But when you look at the capacity for the very good food company, if they're actually able to produce at full capacity, that would mean 37 million pounds of plant-based meat per year. 
37 million. Now, what would that actually be in sales? Well, we actually talked about that in a former video. So take a look at that up here. But that would actually mean if we count about $10 per product, you know, we average it down to have different prices like seven, eight dollars, and some are like 12 or 13. So we have an average of about $10. And we take 10 times 37 million pounds, that would be roughly about $370 million in sales per year. Now, obviously, we're talking about a max, maximum capacity here, right? But that's what we're expecting from this company because we know there's a lot of huge demands for over one and a half year now. They've been selling out constantly. First, it took like five to six weeks to be able to get their product because it's that popular. Then it, about a half year after that, down to two, three weeks. Now I think it's around one to two weeks, but still it's a huge demand. So I actually do see that there's a huge possibility here that they're going to max out this production site sooner or later. And even if it's going to take a couple of years, maybe we're talking about 400 million in sales per year where Beyond Meat is at today. And that's huge, isn't it? But we're probably talking more than that, considering what's going on with the Patterson facility down in California, where we're talking about a production line that can handle 100 million pounds per year. That would be another billion dollars when that's at maximum capacity. Yes, granted, it will probably take a couple of years to get there, but considering that they're expanding into the US, it's the site is in U the US, and we all know how fast the plant-based movement is growing in the US, and they're planning to actually expand into Europe, and it's really growing fast here as well. I do believe that we're going to see maximum capacity, both in the Vancouver facility and in the US. So I really do see that this company could actually fly to the moon and do super well in the years to come. It's going to be really interesting to be part of this journey. Guys, what do you feel? Let me know down in the comments. Where do you see them in two to three years from now? Well, folks, that was it for today. I truly hope you got some value from today's video. And if you did, make sure to smash that like button. And if you're not part of this channel yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And as always, I'm not a financial advisor. These are just my own thoughts and opinions. Make sure to always do your own due diligence and invest safe. Hope to see you soon. Peace out.